just gonna skip this intro and quit. Right, I don't need to learn how to. Change the time of day, we're gonna change it to night time. Save the place. Boom, save the place. There we go. We all done? Alright. Let's go to um Providence, Rhode Island. Okay, so what I want to show you guys today is um Google Earth and VR. Google Earth and VR. Let me change the time of day to day so right now um it's in normal that shit kind of loud right now it's in normal google earth vr mode which i can just navigate through the map um if i hit the tilt i can also view in 3d zoom in zoom out um which is amazing you can see cities and actually go into their streets this is kennedy plaza providence right here all right, you can just click over here somewhere, find a located image nearby. Um, that's cool and all, but what I want to show you guys is, is um, like right now this in VR, this model is about 10 feet. I'm six, I'm six two. This is about 10 feet in comparison, um, and I can actually change the scale right now. It's about, it's about six and a half feet. But this new option that uh, Google VR has which is called um, fixed human scale. And what it does is it fix, fixes the perspective from the person in VR and, and human scale and, and its actual visual proportion. So right now how this model seems like this Superman building is six feet tall, when I change to this option, it's going to seem as if I'm actually flying, flying in Providence, Rhode Island. And right now I can freely just navigate through the whole city as if I was flying. I can hit this button and go faster. I can navigate anywhere. I mean, right now the quality isn't up to par. Boom. I'm on top of the mall. Look at that shit. I'm gonna go to Capitol. Oh, let's go over here. Oh, let's see. Boom, top of the capital building. So right now the quality isn't up to par. Um, but I mean, just the fact that you can travel like this. This is all used off of LiDAR equipment, I imagine. The Google cars that drive around the cities and record every street and um, they use 3D, 360 cameras and LiDAR technology, but in the future, I mean, they're actually implicating it now, but LiDAR technology is used, being used in a lot of development um, throughout each level of detail. Um, and I mean, I'm not gonna get into it now, but the applications that this has, I mean, I'm literally flying around the city right now. Let's, um, let's, go, to, let's go to Federal Hill. Let's go over here, oh yeah. It's the mall, Hasbro building. Boom. Now we are on. This is Westminster, I think. Yeah, let's go over here. That what else is right here? Here we go. So you see, the quality is not really um that good right now. But I mean, in the near future, I mean near future. I mean like five next five years. The quality is gonna be just. It's gonna get to the point where it's gonna be actual, like, actual up to, to scale um, visualization. It's gonna be crazy. I mean, I can drive. Let me let's go somewhere else. Golden State Bridge. Golden Gate. Golden State. Golden Gate. Oh shit. That's crazy. What? Wow. 